What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple Minecraft Bear Rock Trident Farm. This farm works on 0.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bear Rock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm allows you to easily get a lot of tridents and other loot. By the way, Rotten Flesh can be traded with Cleric Villagers to get emeralds. For this farm, you'll need one chest, one hopper, 20 slabs, two glass blocks, one soul sand, four signs, two water buckets, one sea turtle egg. By the way, you can get sea turtle eggs by breeding sea turtles with seagrass. Once a sea turtle has laid an egg, you can mine it with a pickaxe that is enchanted with silk touch. Two torches, about 22 ladders, about 38 kelp, and finally about three and a half sacks of solid blocks so you can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple examples of solid blocks are smooth stone or cobblestone. By the way, the amount of solid blocks, kelp, and ladders you need may vary. By the way, if you build this farm in survival mode and want to get more air while you are underwater, you can place down a magma block. Then crouch down and stand on top of it. As you guys can see here, that will allow you to get more air. After you have more air, break the magma block. The first step is to go to an ocean. Once you're at an ocean, go at least 50 blocks away from land. After you are at least 50 blocks away from land, go to the ocean floor. Then place a solid block on the ocean floor. By the way, you can use any type of solid block that you want. After you've placed that block, place a block at each of these spots as well. Then place 34 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Once you have placed those 34 blocks, go back down here. Then place 34 blocks at each of these spots as well. Once you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to place a block at each of these spots. Now place 4 blocks over here. Then place 2 blocks over here. Now fill in the alley with blocks. This will be the platform for the kill chamber in this farm. The next step is to go below this block all the way to the ocean floor. Now place solid blocks from the ocean floor to the platform. After you are done placing those blocks, go down here. Now place ladders from here all the way to the top of that pillar. Those ladders will allow you to easily access this platform. After you are done with that step, go down here. Then place 4 blocks over here. And 4 blocks over here as well. Then break these three blocks. After you have done that, go to this side. Then place three blocks over here. And three over here. Now fill in that island with blocks. Once you have done that, place three blocks over here. And three blocks over here. Now fill in this island with blocks. The next step is to break these three blocks. Now place two blocks over here, and three over here. Once you have done that, go to this side. Then break these four blocks. After you have done that, place four blocks over here. Then go over here. Now place three blocks over here, three over here, and three over here as well. Then break these three blocks. Now place a sign at each of these spots. As you guys can see here, by doing that, this area should no longer have water. The next step is to place three blocks over here. Then break them. After you have done that, break these three blocks and these three blocks as well. The next step is to go up to the top of the farm. After you're up here, place four blocks at each of these spots. The next step is to place water over here. 
Now go down here. Then please cut from here all the way to the top of this farm. By placing that cup, all the water in that column will be turned into water source blocks. That will allow the bubble column to flow all the way up to this spot. After you are done placing that cup, go down here. Then break the bottom cup. As you guys can see there, that should cause all the kelp to break. Then break this block. Now place soul sand at this spot. As you guys can see there, that should create a bubble column that flows all the way up to this spot. The next step is to place a chest at this spot. Then crouch down and place a hopper over here. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing that chest. Then crouch down and place a slab on the hopper. Now place 3 blocks over here, and 3 blocks over here as well. Then place a block at this spot. Now place 2 glass blocks over here. Once you have done that, break this block. This will be the drowned kill chamber. After you are done with that step, place a torch at each of these spots. Those torches will prevent mobs from spawning on this platform. The next step is to place 3 blocks over here. Now place 9 blocks like this. Then place 9 blocks like this. After you have done that, place 3 blocks over here. Now turn to this side. Then place a sign at this spot. That sign will prevent water from flowing into the kill chamber. Then place water over here. As you guys can see there, that water should flow towards the kill chamber. Once you are done with that step, place 3 blocks over here. Now place 3 blocks over here, 2 over here, and 3 over here as well. Now place a slab at each of these spots. Those slabs will prevent mobs from spawning on the roof. The next step is to go to the bottom of the farm. Now place a sea turtle egg at this spot. That sea turtle egg will attract drowns. Either way, the egg will never hatch because it is not on sand. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure I've made this trident farm correctly. Over here, there should be the kill chamber. Over there, there should be the collection system. Over there, there should be the bubble column. Finally, over here, there should be the sea turtle egg. Either way, make sure the bubble column flows all the way up to the kill chamber. If your bubble column does not flow all the way up here, replace the soul sand with a solid block. Then place kelp from the solid block all the way over to that spot. Then break all the kelp. After you have done that, break the solid block that you placed at that spot and place the soul sand back over there. How this farm works is, whenever you stand on this platform, drowns will spawn in the ocean. Drowns near the farm will try to attack the sea turtle egg. When they do that, they will get pushed up by the bubble column into the kill chamber. You can easily kill all the drowns over here. All the loot will get collected by that harbor and funnels into that collection's chest. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, first stand over here. Then wait for drowns to spawn and walk into the bubble column. They will be automatically pushed into this kill chamber. Whenever there is a drowned in that chamber, you can kill it. You will get the XP and the loot will get funneled into that collection's chest. By the way, once there are a lot of drowns in the kill chamber, you will need to kill them for more drowns to spawn. If you want to get more loot at a time from this farm, you can kill the drowns with a sword that is enchanted with looting 3. Whenever you want to collect the loot, you can open this chest. All the loot will be in here. If this farm does not work for you, try switching your world difficulty to peaceful and then to hard. Also try setting the world simulation distance to 4 chunks. You can do that by leaving the world then going into the world settings. If you want to make a more efficient trident farm, I recommend you watch my automatic 1.19 trident farm tutorial. This farm requires a lot more resources, however it is a lot more efficient. A link to my tutorial for this farm is in the description. 
I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple Minecraft Bayrock Trident farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.